Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this calendar, and I have seen calendars like this before where you actually have a three discs that move around and you, know, you can only see a viewing window from the right year, the right you know, month, the right day. But they asked how to draw that. So I've drawn three circles, much like the continuous circles here, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and take a two point line and I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. I can go ahead and trim off this line so it won't be in our way later. Now this inner circle has one, two, three, four, five, so 10 segments. And if we take a, really I'm gonna take a two point line and go uh, from the quadrant to the quadrant even though we're not going to need them on this uh, other part. And to make it look exactly like the drawing, I've got to uh, move it over, but that's not a problem. Now I'm going to open it and I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to move it to the center of the page. And I am going to open up my Windows Dockers Transform or Transformation. And it's 10 of them will fit in there 36 times. And I need 11, co uh, nine copies should work. And there we have that. Now, if you look, it is rotated, but this is half the degree. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I should have done this from the start. I'm going to, I'm going to change my nudge. Let's see how big my circle is. It's only three inches. So I'm going to make my nudge factor four. And I'm going to take all three of my circles, or I guess all four of them, and I'm going to group them together. And that way I'm going to show you in just a second why. I'm going to go ahead and, and move this line out of the way for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and group these together. And I'm going to make them black for just a second. Now I can move all these back. And if you remember, we group the black lines and to make it look like the picture, we need to rotate it. It's still from the center. I'm not gonna use the docker because it'd be a lot easier just to rotate it 18 degrees. So now we have that same look. Now that gives us the bottom two. And if you look, they're a little bit larger on the bottom, but we don't need the top ones. So we're just going to take our virtual sigma delete key and delete these lines. Now we've got all that done and I'm actually going to, for a second, group all this together. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and make that line black just so it looks more like the original and actually make it a little bit thicker right now just to kind of give it some, some stance. So I'm going to group that together. Now I want to draw a line and there's 12 of these. So we're just going to take a two point line and we're going to go from the center upwardly. We're going to go ahead and make it black. So it kind of stands at well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Now we actually need uh, 12 of those. If we look a little close. 12 spot. We don't need them all the way around. We could very easily. But what we can do is double click on the rotation and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to go ahead and turn my, turn my indexing lines on because you can see I'm not in the center of the page. And I should have quite possibly let that bid line thinner. Now I'm going to need uh, 12, I'm going to take, I only need half the this, this scale, so I'm going to go 180, 180 degrees divided by 12, and I need 11 copies, because remember when you're working with Corel, you've already got um, one copy when you did it, when you're doing it. Now, if you remember, everything else is grouped together, so for just a second, I'm going to zoom out, or move that out of the way and I'm going to group this together. And from really from right here, I could go ahead and 
and rotate it. Um, you know what? I maybe didn't put enough lines, but I think this would work. I'm going to rotate it a negative 45 degrees. Well, excuse me, a negative 90. And that kind of looks funny. And that, well, you know what? It it went. It didn't go off center. I'll tell you what. Let's just. We've got this grouped. Let's try this. Just nudge that back. And let's take our line. Oh, there's what it is. So I have to move the center rotation to there. Because when I, when I grouped it together, it changed it. Now I think if I can rotate a negative 90. Now it didn't, I don't know if I had enough spots. I don't know if there's a line behind there, but I don't really need it. I just need the space. Now the same thing on the outside. Uh, I need 31 divided by 180. I'm just going to take my, tell you what, let's do this again. Let's group this together. By doing that, I can always grab it. And we're going to go right up the center. This time we'll leave it red. Take the two-point line. Right up the center. And we're going to double-click on that rotation and put it in the center. Now this one, if you look, I need 31 divided by 180 divided by 1 divided by uh, 31. Mm, that isn't what I wanted. Oh, I told it only 11 copies. I need uh, 30 copies. And there we go. Now, because we've got everything grouped, we can nudge this out of the way for a second. We can actually group that for a second. We can nudge it. So I'm nudging. I'm not moving. I'm nudging. And that line, if we look, since we grouped it, it put it there. Now, if this is confusing or you don't care anything about it, so I need to go a negative 90. And there we go. Now, if we, let's take away our indexing lines. And let's change everything to black to look like the picture. There we have it. There's our spots, our boxes. Now, the only thing that whoever did this didn't do a good job of putting the numbers in the box. You know, they're too close to the edge. Uh, if you look, those two numbers aren't equal. Uh, the other ones just happen to be off just a little bit. And I'm, I'm going to make a part two to kind of show you how you could more easily put those numbers in those boxes. And I tell you what I'm going to do also, it'll make it look realer or more precise if I grab it all. You know what I'm going to have to do is go to object group and ungroup it for a second. And then let's make it a little, well, we're going to just, oh, here's a pen tool. It makes it look a little bit better. Anyway, so stay tuned to part two, and I guarantee it won't be as long. Hope the hope this helped. Thank you for watching.